Hi, I'm Rob from Freedom House's Internet Freedom Team. And today I'm going to be showing you how to install and use Tor. Now, Tor is a program that helps protect your privacy online by making it difficult for people to find out where you've been online and making it difficult for the places you've been online to find out your physical information so that they can't give it to anybody who wants to know it. Now, Tor does this by taking this, the request that you send out to the internet through the Tor program and bouncing it amongst different relays. And these relays are servers run by Tor, but also run by people who, have, who want to help other people. So with that in mind, let's get started. The first thing we need to do is actually get the software. So you're going to want to open up your preferred internet browser. And I'm using Mozilla's Firefox in this case. So we're going to open this up and you're going to want to go to www.torproject.com. Okay, on the main website you can get an overview of what the Tor program does. You can view their docs, volunteer, even donate. What we're going to do is go to download. Now you can download versions for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, there's a browser bundle here. I'll be going over that in a different tutorial. Uh, for right now, just click on Installation Bundle for Windows, and this is the Vidalia bundle. Now, you're going to want to click Save File and save it to your computer. I'm going to cancel because I've already saved this for the tutorial. So I'm going to go get my file. Downloads. Tutorial Vidalia Bundle, and double-click the icon. Run. Allow. Okay, and then choose your language from the drop-down menu. Click OK. Go to Next. Now these are the different programs that Tor utilizes to, uh, to help protect your privacy online. Vidalia is the user interface. Tor is the actual anonymity software. And Polippo helps to increase the speed and functionality of Tor while it's on, or your web browser while Tor is on. And the Tor button is a button that gets added to Firefox that allows you to turn the, the program on and off with the click of a button. So we're going to go to Next, leave those all checked, and let it install the default directory. All right. Once it's completed, it's going to ask me to install the Tor button by opening up my Firefox. I'm going to agree to install that now, and then restart Firefox so that it's completed. Now. What this has done, as you can see down here in the lower right hand corner, is added the Tor button. And right now it's disabled because we haven't actually set up the program yet or got connected to the service. So we go back to the installation wizard, click next, and then it says run install components now. You can do that, but I'm going to do it manually just so you can see it. Finish. Close this out. I'm using Windows Vista, by the way, to access this. So we're going to go to all programs, Vidalia bundle, and Vidalia. All right, now this is the user interface. What it's doing right now is connecting to the service. And so I'll give you a, a quick rundown of these here. The Stop Tor button is pretty self-explanatory. Setup Relay allows you to use your computer as a relay for other people to access the internet through. Use a new identity gives you a new route through the different relays. And View the Network allows you to see all the open network relays on a map. Um, and then settings, you can go through the different settings for Tor. But so we're just going to let this finish connecting. All right, once you get the green onion, it means you're connected to the Tor network. Now you can hide this and it'll go away, but it'll be down here in your taskbar. You can right click the icon to do any of the things you just saw on the user interface. Um, so what we're going to do is open up our web browser again. And you can see this is still disabled. Now we're connected to the Tor network, but we haven't turned on the service in Firefox yet. So we are going to click the button. It's as easy as that. Tor is enabled. Now I can just... You can go anywhere you want without worrying about... As you can see, actually, I've gone through relays to, uh, to a different country. So... Um, the service is working now. If you want to turn it off, just click the button again, and it'll be disabled. Now I'll go to Google again. 
and it takes me to my regular Google. So that's pretty much all there is to installing and running Tor for the first time. There are other settings you can set and other things you can do, but you can go to the Tor website and they have a lot of information on their own program. So I hope this uh, tutorial has been of some help and good luck.